Hey, what's good guys? Keaton here. So I'm back at it. This time I got an iPhone SE case. I did the same thing as that iPad video. Now the whole thing with the iPhone SE is it's coming out on March 21st and the big thing here is it's a revamped iPhone 5S because apparently a lot of you guys have small hands and just aren't upgrading to the iPhone 6 or 6S. So drop a like on this video if you're one of those people. And yeah, let's check it out. So this phone coming out is gonna be called the iPhone SE. I made a full video on this. I really talked about the name for like three minutes of it. Hit the eye up here and check that out. Now I wanna give a huge thanks to my friend Sonny Dixon for hooking me up with this case right here. I did the exact same thing as I did with the iPad and it turned out pretty freaking awesome. What I did is I took the iPhone SE case and I pretty much 3D scanned it and then from there I 3D printed a phone fit inside it. A little complex, I know, but it turned out pretty well and now we can kind of get a good idea of what we're gonna be seeing soon. And yeah, before any of you guys comment, I made the iPhone SE black and yellow because you know what? I really like Wiz Khalifa. This is the iPhone SE and to show you guys that it fits in the case perfectly, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there and yeah, I mean, the case looks, you know, kind of nice. It's, you can prop it up like that, watch a movie, do whatever you gotta do. When I first got this case, I immediately thought my iPhone 5S, it fit in here no problem. All they're really gonna do is just bump up the specs. But when I put it in here, you can see you can see it's a pretty tight fit. It just looks like it's it's overflowing. And like that's not the Apple way. And like look at the volume buttons, they just don't look too happy. It's not comfy. So I knew there had to be some changes. Now when I 3D scanned it, I found out that these edges are actually more curved. So when you put it in the case here, it fits nice and flush, it's good, you know, the top goes on the case. Everything's all fine and dandy. And the big thing here with the design, and this is kind of like the big difference besides like all the upgraded specs, is it's kind of like, it's kind of reminiscent of the iPhone 6 I got here with these curved edges, but it still keeps its badass history with the iPhone 5S. It just ditches these edges, but that's a good and a bad thing because in my opinion, this is one of the easiest phones to hold. I can't tell you guys how many times I'm holding this thing and oh, it just slips out of my hand, seriously. I know you guys know what I'm talking about and I know you can relate. So I guess the edges kind of made this phone really awesome, but in order to stay with the times, they're curving it. And honestly, thanks Apple, because the amount of people that are gonna be dropping their phones now, skyrocket. Now with the iPhone SE that I made, nothing's really gonna be changing on the front. You still got your four inch display. I know a lot of you guys like that. Touch ID, all that jazz. On the side, it's gonna be pretty much the exact same circle buttons, all that fun stuff. At the bottom, this is kind of where we see a change. So instead of all these speaker holes, we're not gonna see as many. And the big thing here is, we're actually gonna be seeing a headphone jack. I made a video a while ago uh, about how Apple's probably gonna be ditching the headphone jack and just doing a lightning port only. On this phone, that's not gonna be happening. So people who still own the majority of headphones out there, you're gonna be all set to go. Now this side, of course, really similar. At the top, we're gonna have our sleep-wake button. Again, if you got small hands, you're gonna be totally all good to go. Now at the back, this is kind of where things get a little bit funky. So we're gonna be seeing those glass bars that are classic to the iPhone 5 and 5S. I really like that, it's one of the best phones ever. I will go on record to say that. Now in the back, these are where things are gonna get a little bit funky. The design, not really gonna change at all. We know that by now. But what is gonna change is the camera. They're actually gonna be beefing up the camera because um, eight megapixels here doesn't really cut it anymore. And this is also gonna have live photo support too, so that's really sweet. Now we're gonna get our True Tone Flash, of course, like we see on the iPhone 6 and 5S here. Now, here's a kind of thing that I didn't really know. Now, I've seen a lot of stuff where people are saying, oh, the camera's gonna protrude, because how else could Apple beef up the camera? And then I've seen a lot of other people be like, no, it's gonna be flush, you know. When you set it down on the table, it's not gonna rock like the iPhone, the iPhone 6 here. So, it's really a toss up, and I personally think it's gonna be protruding, so all those iPhone 5S people who didn't have the uh, iPhone 6 wobble problem, Welcome to the club. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and uh, like my yellow iPhone right here, drop a like on this one. Go ahead and get subscribed if you haven't already and follow me on Snapchat and Facebook. Doing some big stuff over on Facebook soon. And of course, if you're new here, I always give you guys a sneak peeks on Snapchat. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Ah, uh -huh. you know what it is. Ah, uh -huh. you know what it is. You know what? I really like Wiz Khalifa, and it'd be sweet if they made a yellow iPhone.